Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn how to use Canva Teams, so let's get to it. Alright, so Canva for Teams is one of Canva's subscription plan. It starts at a monthly rate of $14.99. It's quite costly, but it's quite understandable as it has a lot of features the other plans don't and those features can be quite useful especially for groups or teams hence canva for teams so how do you use canva for teams well you can't really call it canva for teams without having a team so let's create a team and invite our members on your home page You'll be able to see the create a team button on the lower left right over here. But in my case, it says invite team members because I've previously created a team already. But in your case, it should say create a team. So click on it. And this window will appear here. You have the option to get an invite link or to input or enter an email address or email addresses of whoever you want to add to your team. Once you're done inputting all the email addresses of those who you want to invite to your team, then go ahead and click on the invite people to my team button. By the way, you can actually create multiple teams, but you'll only be able to see that option by following these instructions. First, you have to go to your profile button, which is here on the upper right side of your screen. From the drop down, click on account settings. And here on your side panel, you'll be able to see your team details. So go to billings and plans, scroll down. And at the very bottom, you'll be able to see the option or a button called create a new team. Click on it and enter your new team name. So in our case, we're just going to call it second team. Oops. And once you're done, click on create new team. And here you go, this pop-up will appear. It means you've successfully created your second team. And basically these are just um, recommendations by Canva. So you can either opt yourself in or just click on not now. And here it is, welcome to second team. I'm just gonna close this. So now that you have several teams, you can switch from one team to the other by going here on the left side to manage your team settings. So you can click on it and you'll be able to see um, all of your other teams over here on the drop down. To manage your team settings, go to your profile button again on the upper right side here. Oh, and by the way, you can actually also switch teams over here. Anyway, we're going to click on account settings again. And here on the um, lower panel, you'll be able to see different options. First, you have team details. This is where you can set your team logo and your homepage banner, rename your team and add a team description. This is also where you can change the owner of the team. So in case you don't want to be in charge of a team anymore, you can pass the team to someone else by changing the owner. And below that, you'll see the option to delete your team. Next, we have the people button. Here, you'll be able to see the um, button or option to invite people to your team. You can click here or you can click here. And right over here in this area, this is where you can see all of your members and change your team members roles. Unfortunately, we only have one person on second team. So to show you what I mean, I'm just going to switch to the other team. Okay, I've successfully switched to a different team this time. 
So as I mentioned earlier, this is where you'll be able to see all of your team members as well as see and manage their role in the team. So if you click on this, you'll see the options to turn this person into one of the following administrator, brand designer, member, and this is also where you can remove a specific person from your team. Now let's talk about groups. So this option is for you to add groups within your team. This would be useful especially if you have a lot of team members and you'd like to divide them into different groups or different departments, etc. So to create a group, just click on this create a group button over here. And once you click on it, this window will appear. Enter your group name and enter your team members email addresses over here. You can add multiple names or emails. And once you're done, click on create group. But we're not going to be doing that now since we only have two members in our team. So we're going to close that. Next, Let's talk about billings and plans. So billings and plans, as we already talked about earlier, this is where you can create a new team. Just scroll down and you'll find that option at the very bottom. Basically, billings and plans is just where you manage your subscription, payment method, team billing information, etc. Next, we have SSO and provisioning. Basically, this is only built for large teams using Canva at scale. So with single sign-on or SSO, your team can use one set of login credentials to quickly access Canva. SSO should be enabled by IT administrators looking to better manage their team. You can learn more if you want to, or you can get started if you think this is something that you need. But we won't be talking about that for now since we have only two members in our team. Next, we have reports. So see how your team is using Canva and the type of documents they're creating. The data here is intended as a guide only and may have minor inaccuracies. Next, we have permissions. And here we have four different categories. You have access, Canva content, publishing, and team content. So for access, this is where you can assign or designate someone or add specific roles to them. So who can invite new members? Who can leave this team? For role access, who can change a team member's role? Who can publish as brand template? Who can create a group? Who can see member emails? Next for Canva content, these permissions control if your team can use Canva's content in their designs. So just basically tweak these according to your preferences. Next, we have publishing. These permissions control how your team publishes content from Canva. Once again, tweak these according to your preferences. And then we have team content. These permissions control how your team can transfer or import content in Canva. So set this up just how you like. Next, we have apps. Purchase history and domains. And the very last button we have here, unfortunately it's currently covered, but it's manage teams. So this is where you can see all of your teams or all of the teams you've created within Canva. So as you can see, we actually have uh, three and I've actually deleted team two earlier. So Canva actually has this backup plan for you in case you accidentally delete your team. You'll be able to find that here and you can undo delete by clicking this button, but make sure to do it before 14 days Otherwise, your team will be permanently deleted. By the way, in case you're already working on a design, you can actually interact with your team members on it. So let's go to a design. I opened this one in advance. Here on the upper right, uh, upper right side of our design page, 
we'll be able to see this add comment button. So we're going to click on it. And this will allow you to leave a comment. Here on the comment box, you can actually mention a specific team member by clicking this button and your team members will show up right over here. Not only that, you'll also be able to assign that person to a specific design and you can also edit the roles or the permission of that person you mentioned. So they can either edit or just comment. And there you have it. That's it for today's video. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.